Okay, let's go ahead and look at our second warm-up problem. Now, this is another equation, and it is going to be a multi-step equation. I could also here try and use substitution and put these numbers in where the n is, but for this one, it might be better just to go ahead and work it out. And for that, we're going to have to use our distributive property. So when I use distributive property, that means everything outside the parentheses, you multiply inside the parentheses. So I'm going to multiply my 7 by my n and my 7 by my 4. So what that's going to give me when I rewrite my equation is 5n plus 7n plus 28 equals 88. Now that I've used my distributive property, I want to go ahead and combine my like terms. Well, 5n and 7n are like terms, so I can combine those. So now I have 12n plus 28 equals 88. Now again, I do want to get my variable, which is n by itself, so I'm going to take this 28, which is my constant, and I'm going to remove it. So I'm going to subtract 28 from this side, and I'm going to subtract 28 from this side. A positive and negative, it's an opposite pair, so they don't exist anymore. So now I have 12n equals 88 um, minus 28, so 12n equals 60. Now I just have a one-step equation, so I can divide both sides by 12, by 12, so my n is going to equal 5. So my correct answer is A, 5.